Hi friends, it's Miss Chloe from the Gardener Pilot Academy. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make some beautiful bookmarks or gifts using the method of flower pounding that is uh, taught by Life Lab in California. These gifts um, I'm making for Teacher Appreciation Week, but since Mother's Day is also coming up, I think it would be a perfect way to get in, out into nature, use what we have in our neighborhoods, and make a gift for a mother, a grandmother, or a person in your life. Need some heavy paper. You can use normal paper, but it's best to have watercolor, or I use mixed media. Some scissors to cut that paper into a bookmark shape. A hammer. Or some flowers. Maybe some leaves. Some tape. Blue masking tape is best. And a yummy drink. Okay, so I started by cutting this way from the paper to make about a two inch bookmark. You can make it as big as you want. This is what I'm going to use. Now, I need the tape, which I don't have any blue masking tape or painter's tape, so I'm using scotch tape. And I'm gonna get about, um, tape that is about as long as my bookmark. This one's a little too long. And then what you need to do is get this less sticky. So right now I'm just going to get the tape a little less sticky. I did it like seven times. All right, so I actually stuck two pieces of tape together that are a little less sticky now because I wanted to make it about the same size as my bookmark so I can fit a little bit bigger flowers on. So now I get to just take the flowers that I want to put on this bookmark and I am going to place them on my tape. Okay, so now that that's done, I have my setup here. I'm going with a purple and yellow theme. Um, I'm just gonna flip this over and tape it onto my bookmark. Press firmly, make sure that it sticks. And the whole point is that we're going to get the color out of these flowers, but not actually leave the flowers on the bookmark. As pretty as they look, I like that. Now you're gonna need your hammer. And if you don't have a hammer, that's okay. It's just really good because it's so heavy. But you could even try a wooden spoon of sorts and try hitting really hard. Although, I don't know if that'll work because it's not that heavy. Or maybe if you have any other, like, like a book or something like that. Um, just needs to be sturdy. But if you do have a hammer, keep your hand, other hand out of the way, just hold this down, and then you're just going to pound that down. Okay, so now that it's done, I checked to see how the color came out before I decided to finish. And what I noticed, and maybe you'll notice this too, is that those purple flowers, these ones right here, didn't come out on our bookmark. What happened? Well, I actually used dried out flowers. I've been drying these flowers for a while and I thought it would work, but it doesn't. So, you have to use some fresh flowers so that the color is turned into almost a paint by the water that is in the plant. Look what happened, it's amazing. And now it looks like a watercolor painting. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually probably gonna go back and I'm gonna add in different flowers here and I'm gonna try it again. Um, and then I will be all done. I can sign my name, I can put a little 
hole in this and hang it up, or I can give it to someone as a gift. I'm thinking I'm gonna give this to my sister, Charlie, because her middle name is Rose and she loves flowers. Uh, other than that, I hope you enjoy making this fine art.